Hello, and welcome to Really Big Hat. My name is Jared, and this is Starfield. So, today we are going to be continuing my series where I build ships. And by special request, I have been asked to build the best Class C ladderless ship that I can. So that brings me back to my outpost here, because it has the most pieces to choose from. And let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So, as per usual, we will be going over to our Rambler here, deleting it, scrapping it for parts. And before I get started properly, I did just want to go over a few things real quickly. Uh, first off, this character is just above level 40. They are in the Vanguard quest line, so they have some ship pieces available from that. I have max rank in both piloting and starship design. So, if there are any pieces that you see that uh, I have unlocked that you don't, it's probably from one of those sources. Uh, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this ship. Why don't we? Uh, so we have two options for landing bays. We can either do the Stroud Eklund that uh, comes in from either port or starboard. You can flip it around either way. Or we have this uh, Tayo ship bed that comes in from the front, and I don't think this flips. No, it does. You can come in from the front or the back with this. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, for the purposes of this, which one do I want to do? Both have some merit. I think I'm going to try... the Tayo. I'm going to flip it around, so we're going to be entering from the rear of the ship. And we will take it from there. So, let's uh, look at our Habs next. And we do have... Oh, let's go with some Deimos interiors. Why not? Just, just for funsies. It... It's, it's really up to personal preference which uh, habitat interiors you like. I'm kind of used to Deimos because that's mostly what I've been using on my uh, main ship that I use for my actual playthrough. So I'll just go with Deimos here. Uh, so we'll put an all in one berth there in the back. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go with a 2 by one here in the back. We'll go with... Uh, some living quarters. And then we'll do some three by ones along the side, at least to start. So we'll go with an all in one and an engineering bay there. Then we'll go with a couple more two by ones. We'll go with a workshop and a science lab. Then we'll go for, oh, something like maybe a computer core. And we'll put that right there. That gives us a good mix of crew and passenger slots between all of our habitats. So that's a good, that's a good mix. And then we'll go for our cockpit up front here next and we can really go for just about any of these that we want uh, the ones that are available here are all going to be one level cockpits that we can get into from our uh, from our Habs no problem I think I might go for this uh, Stroud Eklund one it's either the Stroud Eklund or the Tayo I think I'll go for the Strat Eklund. We'll go for this Viking cockpit. Now, is that too long? Does not say it is. So I'll just assume that it's not. For now. If it turns out to be a little too long, we can fix that later. We can... probably move from the uh, rear hatch to one of the side hatch 
landing bays. Uh, but speaking of landing bays, let's go for our docker next. Uh, so we have this Connect Pro docker from Stroud Eklund that has no ladders on it. It goes from the port of starboard. And then we also have one from, uh, yeah, right here, Hope Tech that will go from port of starboard or the fore of the ship. We can't do the fore of the ship since we've got a, <laughs> a cockpit there. Um, but I do think I'm going to go for this Stroud Eklund Connect Pro Docker here. We'll put it just uh, on the side here. That'll be fine. Connect it to the science lab? Sure. Uh, then, let's go ahead and get our reactor plugged in. We are going to go with a Class C reactor, so we'll go with this big boy here right in the middle. That's why I left this space. The reactor and a grav drive as well. So we'll plug both of those in there. Uh, then we can go to some fuel tanks. Uh, we don't have to go with one of the big ones of these. We can basically plug in whatever we want here, really. Uh, how about a couple of these? for now, and we'll add more if we need them later on, but I think with just those two, it'll be fine here. Uh, let's put one of these two. Let's, let's go for three of them, and then maybe a, a shield on the other side of that one. Uh, then again, since we are Class C, uh, speaking of shields, we probably want to go for this, yeah, 1600 strength one, and that's, uh... Top attaching shield instead of a side one. So I guess we can just, like, double this up, too. I mean, it's gonna really increase our mass and lower our mobility. I'll look at it later and see if I want to take out these smaller ones and just keep those... You know what? Yeah, I'll take out the smaller ones. I'll just keep these. And we'll see how that how that looks. Uh, let's look at some engines next. Uh, I want to go for these White Dwarf uh, 3015s. These have really good stats. You get a good top speed out of these, so I want to want to click those into place. Uh, we do need landing gear and weapons next. So let's look at our landing gear. Um, so we do have this pinpoint landing gear from Tayo that we can click on that would work. And I think the Stroud Eklund ones, yeah, also, also would work. Um, heck, I think these will work too. Like this uh, pinpoint landing gear. Yeah, we could actually put these up front. Yes, we can. And then we'll just, uh... Okay, now this, uh, Taya one, I can't duplicate because it's actually not available here. It was just, uh... It, it was on the Rambler. Okay. So we will go with the Stroud Eklund ones instead, then. We'll put those like so. That should be plenty of landing gear. Uh, next, let's actually look at cargo. Let's go ahead and get one that looks like it would fit. Um, yeah, this one looks like it'll kind of fit with the overall shape of the outside, roughly, more or less. Can I... Yeah, maybe, maybe like that. There you go. Perfect. 
And then on the other side here, I believe there are some Stroud Eklund, um, just like hull pieces. Or we could put some Deimos hull pieces. That'll work too. I think the Stroud Eklund ones would probably be a better fit since they would go with that. Let's see if I can't find them. What's this? What that? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, can I flip that around? Eh. I don't know if that actually fits. That's not what I was going for anyway. Uh, I think it's this mid bracer that I was looking for. Yes. Yes, it was. So I can just put those there to fill out the other side, keep it all symmetrical. Uh, then we just have to look at our weapons, I believe. Uh, so we'll go back up top here. Start, start from the top of the list. I know I'm looking for... Uh, where are they? Vanguard, Obliterator, Auto Projectors. These are... Class A, but they're really good. They've got great range, high rate of fire, uh, low max power, so you could put a bunch. Uh, I think I'm only going to put two. If I can get it to click on, there we go. Put those up front. And then I think we'll go for some turrets of some description for our uh, other weapons. So we've got this auto neutron turret. That's pretty good. Oh, we don't have anywhere to put these though. Uh, that's easily fixed though, since we are at our uh, outpost. We can grab some of these equipment plates, slap these puppies down like so. That'll make four slots where we can mount these weapons. So we'll put these to one side, and then we'll get some other uh, some other turrets for the other side. So that's the one we just put down, I believe. And let's see here. What do we have next? An auto alpha turret. That's pretty good. So we'll click those on there, and then we have our weapons as well. Uh, we do need to assign our weapons then. Uh, we'll go for the auto projector on our right trigger, and then the turrets can just go to the other buttons because it doesn't matter. And then we are looking at 53 mobility, which is a bit low, but still it's above the 50% threshold, so we'll have some maneuverability. Top speed of 180, which is very nice. That's that's a good top speed. Uh, really good shield capacity, bunch of cargo space, six max crew, and I think we have like four uh, passenger slots. Yeah, two there and two there. Yeah. So it's a jack of all trades ship. Like uh, we do also have our science lab and our workshop. So we've got our crafting stations. Uh, we'll have a bed, no problem, in, like, the living quarters and the all-in-one berth. So, yeah, it really does have just about everything we need. Uh, let's look around for... You know what? Let's actually do it this way. Left trigger, right trigger, and the A button. Go into structural here and see what kind of... Uh, uh, how about that braking engine, maybe? Oh, we could put some bumpers on it. That's kind of fun. Thruster. No cowlings. Ah, uh, those Nova cowlings aren't bad. They. Oh, we also could have used these weapon mounts to put some stuff on. Stroud Breaking Engine. Let's go with that.
just get some uh, structural pieces up there and then see if we can't find anything good to go here. Uh, so we could get like a radiator, like really go for that. mechanical vibe down the center here where we've got our uh, reactor and our grav drive and go with like a spine there spine there just add some touches to it you know give it some personality uh Past that, I think we're probably good, honestly. I mean, I could sit here and try and put some more structural pieces on there, give it a bit of a different profile, but I think I like it as is. Uh, let's, let's give it a coat of paint, though. Let's go ahead and select all. Um, let's go with... Let's go with white... This kind of like orange is gold. And. Maybe that black. That's got a nice little uh, color scheme to it. I like that. I like that pl plenty. Uh, so, with that. I do believe I'm going to call that a ship. Looks pretty cool. Uh, we do have pretty good stats on it. A lot of, lot of functionality. And no ladders whatsoever, as we will see in a moment when we take a tour. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, rename this. Uh... <laughs> no ladders. Let's yeah, and try and instead of trying to come up with something clever that <laughs> conveys that same point, let's just call it no ladders. <laughs> that way, I don't have to sit here and think for five minutes and put a cut in editing. <laughs> okay, but with that, uh, we will accept our modifications, make this our home ship, and let's go ahead and take a tour. Let's uh, go around to the rear. Now, I don't think we can fit, like, under here. Oh, we can! Look at that! Cool! That's awesome! <laughs> so we can just squeeze under it to get to the landing bay back here. Okay, so here is our... Here is our landing bay. We will just walk in. And we've got our little... What was this, an all-in-one? Yeah. And then that's going to lead around here to, like, an engineering bay. That's going to lead up into our workshop. Get out of the way, Sarah! <laughs> uh, then we've got a computer core or a command center, yes. one of those two. I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, but then we've got our science lab over here. Then we've got another living quarters. So we've got some nice beds back here. And was there anything else? If there was and I missed it, I do apologize, but I think... I think that should have been everything. Yeah? I'm trying to think back to just five minutes ago when I was building this ship to see if there should be any other pieces. No, yeah, it should be right here. And then it just loops around clockwise and hits everything that way. Yeah, yeah, we got everything. So let's go ahead and just sprint up to the cockpit now. And we do have this nice Stroud Eklund cockpit. It's pretty sleek design. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a seat here. We'll get a takeoff sequence here. See the ship. Time to leave this place behind. Yep, yeah, there we go.
here we go. And let's go ahead and uh, go do a combat test. So we will... Uh, oh, here, let's put a bunch more into the engines and a couple more into the shields. And then we will jump... up here to Crix to the key because there's a bunch of Crimson Fleet there that we can shoot at with guns <laughs> see how our ship functions So, let's get this party started. Alright, where is this one? Okay. Wow, just melted him. Get back here. There we go. There we go. And that'll be our combat test. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Yeah, we were able to, to melt. Melt those guys. And so here's the ship flying around in space. It's got a, got a blocky profile to it, but it's pretty cool. And let's go ahead and take a look at the cockpit view here. Get a nice, nice view of space from this thing. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that will just about do it. Here is our best Class C, no ladders ship that we can build. We've uh, done a quick interior tour, quick combat test. So with that, I will go ahead and just sign off here and say I will see you guys next time. Later!